Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today's reaction is going to be Bring Me The Horizon, Happy Song, live at the Albert Hall. I was quite impressed with Doomed at the Albert Hall, so I thought, well, instead of just sat there, sitting there looking at a, an audio track, I will I will go on the Albert Hall one, because like I say, with that orchestra in Doomed, it was really, really good. So uh, let's see what this one's all about. It's off That's The Spirit, I believe, as well. Okay. Everyone loves a bit of crowd involvement, don't they? Ooh. I'm loving this intro straight away. Oh, heavy guitars. I've said it in the other video, the more I react to Bring Me The Horizon, the more I like him. And I think there's a general theme with him about depressional thoughts, like he's got a, he's got a voice in his head that says he's better off dead. And uh, if he sings along to a happy song, then maybe he'll be all right. I think that's what some people do, don't they? They put happy music on, um, like like cheesy pop music, just to um, make themselves feel better or put them in a better mood. Saying that, it could be sarcastic as well, because like, oh, do you want me to do put a happy song on um, when he's going through a bout of depression? But hey, pff, this song at the start has is, is got me already. Oh, I love the way he screams. I like his songwriting as well. The analogy there of his head's like a carousel uh, going around in circles and circles, obviously to to portray the the, the thoughts that he's having that's, uh, that, he, that he wants to kill himself, etc. You know, it's... Uh, when you when, when, Like I say, when people sing about um, these sort of doomed thoughts, um, they, they sound like they, they believe the song that they're singing. And you could see it. he was working out with that scream and stuff then. He was, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really digging Bring Me The Rise in that minute. I can't believe it's the same band that brought out that uh, that Pray For Plagues and stuff like that, which I just totally wasn't into. So maybe we'll forget, yeah, sing along to a happy song or maybe we'll forget, which means obviously when you do something positive, when you're feeling negative, I'm talking fast because I'm, <laughs> um, I'm getting pumped up with this music. When you start listening to something like happy like that, it, it, it pulls you out of your depression for a bit, doesn't it? It makes you feel all right, as he said. I 
and then you, you hear all this good music and all this screaming and stuff and then you get like it sounded like a Yorkshire accent to me he went well you fucking mean it <laughs> so it was brilliant go on Ali <laughs> Ooh, is there a twist? It's time for the first hall of death the Albert Hall has ever fucking seen. Has ever fucking seen! To the left, <laughs> or the right, I don't give a fuck, but you better fucking move. I love the way he says fuck. It's like, fuck, for you better fucking move. It's just brilliant. Or go right, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you better fucking move. Push it back. Come on! Make us proud! Push it fucking back! Bigger! Bigger! Ooh, it's building. Yes! Did he just name the title of his album there? That's the spirit. <laughs> Amazing. Bravo! <laughs> Fucking bravo! <laughs> that was absolutely amazing. I know, I know I said that Drowned was my favourite song, but I think this one is. This was absolutely fantastic. Even you know, even though it's a live version. I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to the um the, the studio version as well, see what the difference is. But that that I feel like, like I feel like I've been to the concert. You know what I mean? And and that's when we've been getting the, the crowd and stuff involved and all that. And like the message of the song is obviously um, the world's gone to shit. Uh, and your thought, you got you, you, your thoughts are like spinning around. You had like a carousel, like you said. And you know, I, I, I'm coming to see this theme with Ollie a lot with uh, like depression. And it's pretty much the same as when I listen to Linkin Park because a lot of their songs are depressional as well, aren't they? Um, but yeah, these, these, yeah. Fantastic, did like I said, they're like a like a modern day Linkin Park. Well, this is not even modern, is it? This is a few years old now. But if you like my videos, please like and subscribe and uh, leave the notification bells on, and I'll see you on the next one.